Hey guys, I'm Thomas Straker and we are back here for Tasty Business. We've had a little hiatus. Rollo and I are taking a bit of time apart. I, you know, I've been busy making butter. Rollo went and filmed a few cars. So I'm so used to doing TikToks now that I'm all about ching chung ha ha pee ha hoo ha <laughs> So we're making chicken and chips. Such a classic. We're gonna do some big chunky chips cooked in, in the wood-fired oven. Make a lovely gravy. We're gonna grill half a chicken on the Joy stove. We've got a lovely chicken from our meat supplier, HG Walter. It's a chicken which has been grown for like 80 days. We've got to get the right potatoes, something which has got, you know, a nice flowery texture, something that's gonna get crispy. And then we're gonna make a lovely gravy using the wings, the leg bones, stuff like that, just to, just to really make this gravy proper. So we've got a homemade chicken stock, we've got lovely vegetables. I'm going to show you how to make a really quick gravy. Nothing too sticky and reduced, just a nice lovely sauce. And it's just going to be, you know, it's hearty, it's warming, it's delicious. Okay, right, so first up we need to do the potatoes and for that we need to get the water boiling. So I'm just going to get some water from my spring. You want really salty water, so I'm just gonna put lots of salt in there. That's gonna come nicely up to the boil. I've got this Joy stove on. It's a fantastic product. I've taken it to the beach. It's very light. It's al aluminium, I think. And you, it has a little handle, but I melted the handle. The water's coming on to boil. I'm just gonna wash my potatoes quickly. Back at the, back at the old spring. Ha! Potatoes clean. Get yourself a nice speed peeler, don't use a shit peeler. Don't use those big rubber ones, they're crap. We're gonna chop those into chips now. Oh my god, absolutely weapon cleaver made by Alfie from Cabin Night. Wow, straight in half, look at that, boom! <laughs> anyway, chop the chips. Yeah, I'm just making them quite nice and chunky, yeah? Water's just below boiling, we're gonna drop the chips in. So the reason why we parboil the potatoes is so the potatoes are cooked through before we then start to cook them in oil. They start to break down, that means you've got a really fluffy inside and the outsides are going nice and crispy and you get those little textured bits, which I love. For the mirepoix, I'm going to chop onion, carrot, leek, celery, garlic. We don't need to cut it fine at all. <laughs> we want to be able to get a bit of colour on the vegetables when we roast it in the pan. That's also colour that you're going to get in your sauce. I'm going to cut a few bits of rosemary here, bam. Uh, and then a bit of thyme as well. Oh, lovely hard herbs, very easy to grow. Potatoes cooking, we're going to prep the chicken. Take the end of the chicken legs off, we're going to use those for our sauce. Wings as well. Look at that, that is fat. This is a healthy chicken. When do you ever see fat on a chicken? That's going straight in the sauce. That'll be, that'll give so much flavour. Fat on the, fat in the sauce is delicious. It's boiling a bit vigorously now, so I'll just take that off. Anyway, we want to cut down either side, side of the backbone here. I'm just going to chop the back up. The reason you're chopping it up is so you can get more of that gelatin out of the bones. Now the wings, just smash them up as well. Take the wishbone out, it doesn't matter if you do it now or before. You just want to go either side of the wishbone. This is going to make it easier for carving it later. You could either grill like that as a one -er. I'm going to go in half, yeah? Straight down the middle, bosh. So the potatoes have been on for about 12 minutes. You can see they're like breaking up nicely. Look, we want some of those smaller bits to break in half. It's going to give us our nice different textures. You've got to be gentle now. So we're taking them to the edge. Wow, that looks so good. Because they're on the edge, they're going to get super, we're going to put them in a really hot pan. They're going to crisp up on the outside really quickly before we move them and then they've got a little bit more, they become a little bit more sturdy. Some oil. And we've got all these lovely bits of chicken. Imagine trying to salt them from over here, look. <laughs> See that lovely piece of fat there? Chuck that in, it's going to render down nicely. A bit more salt in there because I'm not sure how, actually how much went on the chicken. Oh mate, that's fucking gravy for you right there, baby. Look at that, you can see it, like there's a lot more fat in there now. That's because all the chicken fat is rendering out of the skin. It's got a nice colour on there. Looking lovely. Now we've got good colour on the chicken. I'm just going to get these vegetables in. So what we're looking is just for these vegetables, just to 
you know, soften down, get a bit sweet, have a little bit of colour on them, all that colour. Cheeky herbs, getting in there early. Toss that around to get them all coated in the chicken fat. You know, we've got this lovely so caramelisation on the bottom of the pan. The vegetables are looking soft. Mmm. We're going to hit this with a little bit of vinegar and that's going to give the sauce some balance, some acidity. Look at the change in colour in the liquid. What we're going to hit it with is a bit of Madeira. Okay, Madeira, sweet fortified wine. So we've given it the acidity and now we're giving it the sweetness, okay? Is that as nice and sweet, it's a little bit sharp, it's perfect. It's just going to add the body to the, to the dish. She's been heating up my chicken stock in the wood oven. Now you want to pull that stock over, over the top of the gravy. We're going to bring that to the boil, cook it quickly, and at this point we're going to add in some herbs. So we're going to add in some thyme and some of our rosemary, yeah? Put this in the oven whilst it's cooking down. Lots of oil for the chips. It must be nice and hot. Yes, I am using extra virgin olive oil because chips cooked in extra virgin olive oil are the best. Gonna layer them up. We've cooked them so far, they're very breakable. It's nice to have it cooked that far because you're gonna get a crispier chip. So you can just shake the pan, see if they're, see if they're getting loosey-goosey. The ones that are loosey-goosey, just give them a turn because I've turned them a couple of times. Now these chips are going, I'm just gonna smash them in the oven. So I'm just gonna put those in and just keep an eye on them. This gravy's been ticking over in the oven. We're not making a stock, so we don't want to cook it for hours. This is like a quick cook. This is like half an hour. So we've just cooked this, and we're going to strain it off and bring it down really quickly. Keep reducing down there. Final piece of the puzzle, grill Mr. Chicken. Been air drying outside with the wind, lovely dry skin, that's exactly what we want. If you, if you are grilling a chicken at home, you know, leave it on a tray, skin out in the fridge for a few hours, Lovely bit of salt. <laughs> I love cooking chicken like this because you get, it, it, the meat gets protected from the skin and then also on this side, it's getting protected from the bone. And you can just lay the chicken. It's a lovely bit of kit for, for grilling chicken, actually. Then we're gonna go back to the skin side. Oh, we'll go front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back until we're done. It'll take probably about 20, 25 minutes on a, depends what temperature your grill is at. Look at that, oh, that's gonna be good that bit. I take that off, just take it out of the cage, let the chicken out of the cage. You've heard that one before, it's like me on a Saturday night. Leave it somewhere warm, maybe on top of there. We're just gonna let that rest so, so all the juices and the temperature just become one. Because if you carve it now, all the, all the, all the juice inside the chicken is just gonna piss everywhere. So rosemary salt, get a really small knife, Chop the rosemary, nice and fine. This is just going straight on the chips when they come out of the oven. Salt. Would you look at that? Chips, done. Just gonna go in with the rosemary salt, yeah? Yum. To finish the sauce, I'm just gonna go a little bit of whole grain mustard, one spoon. That offers nice texture. Again here, we're gonna carve the chicken. Just go between the breast and the leg. Look at that beautiful grilled chicken. Chicken on the plate. One big fat leg. Oh my God. Potatoes, lovely chips. Touch more rosemary salt to finish. As much gravy as one wants. A fucking shitload. Burnt lemon. And that, my friend, is a fucking good plate of food. Mmm. Chicken's perfectly grilled. Still juicy, tender. We've done every process right. We cooked the chips well cooked them in lots of olive oil, we've made a rosemary salt. The chicken has been slowly grilled, it's been seasoned properly, we made a burnt lemon and we made the gravy out of the whole chicken. We made our own chicken stock. Chicken sauce is just beautiful. We, you know, we added the Dijon mustard because it adds that kick. We added the burnt lemon because it's a little bit of sharpness. You know, it's considered cooking, but it's simple. It's chicken and chips. Your mum makes it, your nan makes it, your sister wants to make it. She doesn't know how, now she does. See you later. <laughs>